Let's look at the bond angles for CO2. This is carbon dioxide. So we start out with the Lewis structure. This is the Lewis structure for CO2. If you need help with that, there's a link at the end of this video. So we have our Lewis structure, and you'll note that bonded to the carbon, there's a double bond here. We have an oxygen here and an oxygen here. So they're double bonded. And there's nothing else bonded to the carbon. There's no lone pairs or other atoms. So these two oxygen atoms they're going to be on opposite sides. They're going to repel each other, push away, and we'll end up with a linear molecular geometry. And the bond angle here, this will just be 180 degrees because it'll be a straight line. Let's visualize that to really help us understand. So you can imagine that the carbon, that'll be the purple. Let's put a double bonded oxygen on. And when we put the other double bonded oxygen on, they push away from each other. That gives us that bond angle of 180 degrees. They're on opposite sides. So the molecular geometry for CO2, that's going to be linear. And since there's no electrons on that central carbon atom, the electron geometry would also be linear. Let's go back. So because these oxygens, they're on the opposite sides, they're pushing away from each other, nothing else bonded to carbon, the molecular geometry or shape for CO2 is linear. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.